we don't live our freedom and our trust and our compassion that is present in the depths of this life. Instead, we live inside a little box. Instead of living this whole relationship to the final reality, we live inside this box. This box protects us from our gross humanity and protects us from the final mystery both. This box has a name. It's called personality. Each of us live in this box of personality. Typically, we don't know we're in a box. We think the box is us. Uh, we think the box contains reality. And we need to understand that each of us has constructed this box. It's human made, board by board since infancy. This box of well-practiced set of habits is useful. Uh, you wouldn't want to be without your box. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be without your well-practiced habits. Uh, they do have some utility. Uh, sometimes we call this box our, our social conditioning. Because what makes up our personality is not unique to us. Uh, we've learned it from our society in most cases. We've not created something society never heard of before. Uh, society is also a box, a set of habits that have become customary for those of us who live in that society. But our habits are not our true being. Our customs are not our true being. Our moralities are not our true being. Our beliefs are not our true being. Our personality is not our true being. Our personality habits are also past-oriented. This is the way we always did things, but it ain't necessarily the way we always will do things or could do things. We learned these habits in the past. We put this personality together over the course of our lives. But we do not live in the past, actually. We live now and only now, and it's always nothing but now. And the real person lives in this now and is capable of breaking these habits and doing something different. We built this pattern with our essential freedom. And once the box was built to exclude our freedom, we became a robot of these patterns that function unconsciously, automatically, our personality patterns tend to be inflexible. They do not apply to all the situations that come up in life. So they're kind of like a block of ice that won't move through some of the narrow places in life. You know, they kind of move along pretty good a lot of the time, but then you come to one of these narrow places in life and your block of ice just won't go through there. But the same water, when melted, will flow through anything. Any spot in the stream, no matter how tough, no matter how narrow, your true essence, your true freedom, your true spontaneity, your true creativity will flow fine in that spot. Our true being is flowing water.